Hi everyone and welcome to this tutorial on how to book your appointment for Ms. Radhapneen. So first of all, what we want to do is we need to find out where our closest branch of Ms. Radhapneen is to where we live. So I'm going to go onto the internet. This is the Nefesh for Nefesh website. Daniela will send you the link. And it says here, Ms. Radhapneen branch locations. So they've got the whole list here of Ms. Radhapneen. I know for where I live that the closest branch is going to be so I'm going through the list here and we can see we have all the details for the branch in Christ Sabbath. Okay, so now that we know what our local branch is, we also need to know how to write it in Hebrew, by the way. You could use a Hebrew keyboard or you could look on Google Translate. We're going to need the name of your city in Hebrew. Now we're going to go to the My Visit website. Okay. And let's start from the beginning. So this is the My Visit website. You can book here all of your appointments. It's quite an amazing website. So like I said, we're booking for Ms. Rada Panim. We need to organize our tour. That's a hoot. So you see all these pictures here. These are all the different offices, government offices. And what we need is this one over here. In Hebrew, Reshut HaChlosia Vahagira, Population and Immigration Authority. Okay, the Magen David picture. So we're going to click on Population and Immigration Authority. Okay, now it says find a location. You can type in here. Uh, as I said, it needs to be in Hebrew. So I know I need Kfar Saba. So I'm going to type in Hebrew Kfar Saba. Okay, if you see below what's come up is the branch, the Christ Saba branch. I'm going to click on that. Okay, you can see here it says choose a service. There's only one option, so no, no getting confused here. You click, it says Tiud Kisha, Tiud Biometry. Basically, we're selecting that we need to go and get official documents. Okay. Now it wants you to type in your ID number. So this is the nine digit code that you have. Uh, your Tudatsahut probably begins with a three, four, six. And I'm going to put in my Tudatsahut number. Okay, and then we're going to continue. Now we need to enter our Israeli cell phone number. It has to be your local cell phone number because we're, they're going to send us an SMS. So I'm going to enter my number and continue. Okay, now it's telling us here that we need to choose uh, the service that we're looking for. We're going to go with number one. Don't worry about all the Hebrew, about all the options. We need number one. It says Hanfakat to that's a hot biometry, number one. We're going to choose that. That's getting your biometric ID card. So we click on number one. And then we see appointment. Okay, you can see the different dates. So let's say I want to book my appointment for Sunday, the 3rd of January. I click on that. And then we see here below all the different time slots that are available. So I want to go at 9.48 a.m. I click on the time. Okay. And then we're going to click on create appointment. I'm not going to click on this because I don't want to make an appointment for myself. But once you click on create an appointment, you will get an SMS confirmation to your cell phone. And it's as easy as that. Now, a few important things to point out. You should take with you to your appointment all of your original documents. Just to be on the safe side, if there's any documents that they require while you are there, so take all of your original documents to the appointment. The second thing is to take physical passport pictures. Okay, um, the, they will take your picture for biometric passport, uh, sorry, for biometric ID, but just in case they wanna give you a temporary ID or they can take actual passport pictures with you, rather be safe than sorry. And uh, one more point, while you are at your appointment, getting your two, that's a hook, your Israeli ID, you should ask the attendant, the person helping you, when 
you can book for your passports. Okay, so while you're there, while you're standing in the office having your appointment, please ask them when you can organize your passport. They may be able to do it on the spot. They may give you another appointment. So I hope that this was informative and easy enough to do. And uh, good luck. Have a wonderful early year.